Green game taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season, off top, you stop breathing. But yeah, let's uh, we we got a quick movie review and then um, yep, we could hit the rest of these comments. I know you said you re read your comment about hip hop. Damn, that that was like a while ago, bro. Um, yeah, Deontay Jones, the Trippy Red album was better than this album. You know what? I could agree with that. I could agree with that. Like, I I could I could understand where you're coming from because that Trippy Red album was hard as fuck. Like. Damn, we talked about the DJ Envy shit before, but we we'll, we'll always have bars for him at the end of the show. So yeah, just stay tuned, like, cause it, cause the case is just always getting better and better. <laughs> word, word. So yeah, so we're gonna do a quick, a quick movie review. And I, I'm pretty sure only me and LB probably watched this, watch this movie, of course. <laughs> so, of course, uh, the the latest entrance, you know, from the Mortal Kombat universe, Mortal Kombat Legends cage match. You know, wait, is this a cartoon? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's why I ain't see it, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, I barely yeah. seen it. I had to hit this man up like so many times. Oh <laughs> yeah. Like, it's, it, like, yeah. It's like they, they weren't showing love online with this motherfucker. Like Yeah, and and, and I just happen to have the one copy because you know I because you know I, I'm I'm not new to this, I'm true to this. So my so my copy in my media hub was perfect. So I sent this nigga this copy. So like, okay, like, thank you. Shout out to this nigga Pat. Where so you know we have a basically a uh, you know simple uh, movie review for that LB came up with, and I think you know it's a good way to get straight to everything like that. So one LB, what was the best thing about this movie, bro? The best thing about this movie, uh, Mortal Kombat Legends Cage Match. Mm -hmm. I gotta say the vibe, and when I mean by that, mm -hmm. the, the atmosphere, the aesthetics. Mm -hmm. It takes place in the '80s. It's in Hollywood, so you have this whole. I was about to say Miami Vice, but you just have that 80s Vice feel, City yeah, yeah. Hollywood vibe, mm -hmm. the the 80s music, the theme. It just it was a good setting. Like that's what I really enjoyed about it. Like I think that's the real highlight mm -hmm. of the uh movie. Mm -hmm. Is that vibe. Like they did some other good shit too. But the whole backdrop, the setting, the atmosphere, the whole vibe. Mm -hmm. Like the music, all of that just really made, I think, really put the movie to the next level. Like, it really raised the movie up. Yeah, you know, it made that shit pop too. Especially the how the, the, the animation was colorful as fuck too, and the dialogue was yeah. the, the dialogue was dope as well. So, yeah, yeah, it, it, it was it was just it was just flowing. Like, I, I was fucking with it. I was like, okay, I mean, because it's definitely a different vibe from the other, the other Mortal Kombat like movies are. You know they're they're more in line with that you know the actual video game and shit like that or yeah. something like that like or the legends that you know like when you read the instruction books of Mortal Kombat you see a lot of that shit in there. You know this this one this one was a, a deviation because it was a lot lighter in in tone but not too light though but lighter yeah. and, and it comes across almost like a prequel to like the Mortal Kombat. Exactly. Yeah. No. So that that was a nice little tie-in vibe. But yeah. Like, that, I would say that's the strongest strong suit from it. Now, for what would you think would be the worst thing about the movie? The worst thing about the movie, uh, Cage Match, I would say it needed more Mortal Kombat characters. I can, yeah, I can see that. That's yeah. what it needed. Like, I felt like a lot of the characters they had, you could have easily just replaced them with different Mortal Kombat characters. Mm -hmm. And it, and the movie would have still hit, if not be better, because then it would resonate with the game more. Mm -hmm. So I kind of felt that kind of brought it down a notch or two, because the fighting and violence was still good. And like Pat said, it's, it's more colorful, more vibrant than the other darker films. Mm -hmm. But I, it needed a little more of a Mortal Kombat branding in it. Yeah, and uh, to me, I mean, like I, I get it because of the setting. Like uh, in terms of the story, uh, I don't, actually I don't really want to spoil it because what, what what it's really all about though. But I just felt like the story, yeah, the story needed more of a Mortal Kombat touch behind it because it because it kind of flips between like two different things, like one like Miami Vice and fucking Showdown Little China type of shit, nigga. So that was yeah, cool. like it, it like it wanted to be. <laughs> It was, it was almost like the remember that uh batman soul of the dragon or some shit yeah that was a dope one too I that was dope like 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 
that they pulled off of the like they pulled that off a little better than this, right? You know, it, but I just felt like if 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 the story was just a little bit more tight or a little bit more with the Mortal Kombat stuff, I was like, okay, uh, like that should that should would have been like that should have really hit though. Yeah, even and, if it uh, wasn't the story, like if you would have just replaced the like if you would have just had the characters, you could have left the story alone. Mm-hmm. It just even the characters add more Mortal Kombatness to it. Right. But even the non-moral combat characters were catching some bodies in that shit too. So. Yeah, yeah, they were like that. That shit was cool. Like, yeah, and then shout out. I also got because I know I think this movie was like the last one for Gilbert Gottfried, of course. You know, you know who voiced like Iago and all, and you know, of course, remember like, I think he voiced one of the, the the Hollywood character. I think this was his final movie before he passed too. So oh, like, wow. you know, and I didn't even know because I was like, God damn, was like, that voice sounds mad familiar. So I was like, so I went to IMDb. Yeah. It's like, oh shit. He actually I think did he was the agent dude, right? Yeah, he was the agent dude. Yeah, yeah he killed that shit too. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, why is that? Because I because mean, he because he had been passed for a minute. I was like, why am I hearing this? Voice? And then it's like, yeah, that, yeah, it was it was like it was like his final work. So I was like, yeah, no, I just slowed because it was, it was good. It was good to hear him in this fight, you know, in that final role unexpectedly. Uh, R.I.P. Uh, Gilbert Godfrey. Yeah. So would we recommend? Hell yes, of course, yeah, yeah, no. yeah, because uh, like 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 is you no know, like all the Mortal Kombat uh, animation universe films are all good fucking watching. This was just like I said, it's just a slight deviation from the norm, but this shit still is this, this shit still hit though. Like this shit was dope. It's, it's not the best one. Mm-hmm. Like if I had to rank them, and you know, it's on they're on the website as mm-hmm. far as like the movie review. Just hit the, um, I think the article tab or ringgameradio.com. Mm-hmm. Scorpion's Revenge is number one. That's like a ten. Like that blew us the fuck away. Like I'm almost might have to rewatch that shit. Like that shit was just pure authentic Mortal Kombat. Um, after that, the one after that was kind of uh, like it didn't hit, man. We was disappointed. Mm-hmm. Um, but then they came out with Snowblind. Yeah, that and that shit. Snowblind was fire. That shit brought that shit all the way back, yeah. That shit and it brought tough. the feeling back, so yeah. Mm-hmm. So I will put Snowblind as number two. Cage match will probably end up being number three. I can see that. You know, and the other one, um, Battle for the Realms, I think would be number four, mm-hmm. which is crazy because the Battle for the Realms should have been the best one, but they rushed it. They kind of like they, they rushed like- it, yeah. Yeah, it, it it needed to be longer or two films. That's it, one or the other. Like, thank you. Like they did, they fucked it up because it had all the right characters, everybody, but the fights and just the pacing, it just was all over the place. Like they rushed it; it just didn't hit like it yeah. was supposed to. Like it's like they struck fire so well with the first movie mm-hmm. that they just got cocky. Like they went in for the knockout. Like, he's like, "All right, fuck you. We yeah. heard him." Like, yeah, yeah. Like, no, like, chill, chill, chill. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I, I, then, I, I'm looking forward to another one of these. Hey, I'm sure. Like, there, there's, there's probably. I mean, I, I haven't seen any news in the pipeline, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be more. And hey, like, if I could have a suggestion, can we make one based off, like Raiden? Yeah, or the the El- any of the elder gods and shit. Like you know that, or or even like Shao Kahn or you know, Goro and all of them. Like you know, Kintaro, Motaro, whoever. Like yeah, whoever. like. Like something from one of their perspectives, like because right. a lot of times they'll just be like they'll be dope side characters, but he'd be like, "Damn, like, can we do some shit where like how Raiden became a god or him, you know, on a side mission? Like, I don't know, just a little creative." But like, I fuck with what y'all doing though. You know, don't get me wrong. I don't want niggas yeah. to be like, "Well, fuck y'all, we ain't gonna make no more." No, no, chill, chill. exactly. And then, like, so the, it's still some other shit. That's all. So what would you give it as a score, LB? I mean, I, I, but I, to me, it would be an eight to me. Like, you know, like it's an eight. Nah, I agree because you, you have got to have it in line with the other ones. Like Scorpion's mm-hmm. Revenge is a ten. That's a fucking ten. Easy, easy. Snowblind is like a, like a hard. It's like a nine. If we did halves, I would, if, if we did halves, I would have said nine point five. Like you know, that, if we did, if we were doing halves, nigga, like yeah, Snowblind is like a, a nine. A cage match is an eight, and Battle for the Rams is like a six. Yeah, no, I agree with I agree with that. So that's mm-hmm. that's it. But uh, if you're a Mortal Kombat fan, definitely watch this movie. You won't be disappointed. You'll enjoy it. It's one of those shits you could just bob to, mm-hmm. like the different music, like like it, it's like an animated version of Cobra Kai. 
Like, yeah, <laughs> facts. But but a little, little more violent though, you know, because Cobra Kai like they ain't, they ain't fatalian niggas, and you know, I mean, a nigga did get his back broken, shit, and that like yeah, you know, yeah, that's like them kids be playing for keeps at that high school, nigga. Like I ain't gonna you know, lie. And I'm pretty sure one of them had like size or some sort of weapon and was fucking shit up, nigga. Like <laughs> oh, okay, 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 like. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're gonna make me just uh, uh, remix the uh, the uh, the bar, you know what I mean? But it, it's that vibe. Like, um, if you wanted to make Cobra Kai more like harder for an animated movie, like, yeah, cage match. Absolutely. So.